Hey, Luke. Welcome to Holy Trinity Church on this Tuesday of the fifth week of Easter. It's Star Wars Day, according to my daughter. May the fourth be with you. <laughs> May the Lord be with you also. I got out the uh, musical settings for Noonday and Compline book. Let's see if we can find anything more to chant about here in the center of our day. O oh God, make speed to save us. O oh Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. That's pretty good. I'll have to get a copy off for you guys, too. Today, we're going to chant Psalm 61. Psalm 2.8, I think that is, that we use, or will be. Hear my cry, O God. <clears throat> Let's try that again. Hear my cry, O God, and listen to my prayer. <clears throat> I call upon you from the ends of the earth with heaviness in my heart. Set me upon the rock that is higher than I. For you have been my refuge, a strong tower against the enemy. I will dwell in your house forever. I will take refuge under the cover of your wings. For you, O oh God, have heard my vows. You have granted me the heritage of those who fear your name. Add length of days to the king's life. Let his years extend over many generations. Let him sit enthroned before God forever. Bid love and faithfulness watch over him. So will I always sing the praise of your name. And day by day I will fulfill my vows. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Reading from chapter 12 of Romans. I appeal to you, therefore, brothers and sisters, by the mercies of God, to present your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable to God, which is your spiritual worship. Do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your minds, so that you may discern what is the will of God what is good and acceptable and perfect. For by the grace given to me, I say that everyone among you not to think of yourself more highly than you ought to think, but to think with sober judgment, each according to the measure of faith that God has assigned. For as in one body we have many members and not all the members have the same function. So we who are many are one body in Christ, and individually we are members one of another. We have gifts that differ according to the grace given to us. Prophecy in proportion to faith, ministry in ministering, the teacher in teaching, 
the exhorter in exhortation, the giver in generosity, the leader in diligence, the compassionate in cheerfulness. Let love be genuine, hate what is evil, hold fast to what is good. Love one another with mutual affection, outdo one another in showing honor. Do not lag in zeal, be ardent in spirit, serve the Lord. Rejoice in hope, be patient in suffering, persevere in prayer. Contribute to the needs of the saints, extend hospitality to strangers. Bless those who persecute you, bless and do not curse them. Rejoice with those who rejoice, weep with those who weep. Live in harmony with one another, do not be haughty, but associate with the lowly. Do not claim to be wiser than you are. Do not repay anyone evil for evil, but take thought for what is noble in the sight of all. If it is possible, so far as it depends upon you, live peaceably with all. Beloved, never avenge yourselves, but leave room for the wrath of God. For it is written, Vengeance is mine, I will repay, says the Lord. No, if your enemies are hungry, feed them. If they're thirsty, give them something to drink. For by doing this, you will heap burning coals on their heads. Do not be overcome by evil, but overcome evil with good. Hear what the Spirit is saying to God's people. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Much exhortation in Paul's words today and some puzzlement. Some of these words have changed meaning, some a little bit, some more, and some have brought new meaning into the language that has reshaped the world. Love one another with mutual affection. As my friend William said just a few minutes ago, do not repay anyone evil for evil. Vengeance is mine, says the Lord. And the puzzling one, if we are to heap coals on, burning coals on their heads by our good behavior, the motive still seems to be somewhat tainted. So let us learn to love one another. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. The Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, hear our prayer, and let our cry come to you. Let us pray. Please pray together with me, O oh God of grace and mercy, give your blessings to the Diocese of Alaska. Watch over our churches, sustain our people, strengthen our leaders. Through the Holy Spirit, guide and guard the diocese, keeping it always under your care and protection. Let us be a loving family, serving you in faithful devotion to the gospel of your Son, Jesus Christ. Give your blessings to mark our bishop. Give him a spirit of courage and right judgment, a spirit of knowledge and love. Let your Holy Spirit be his companion. Let your gospel be always in his thoughts. May your presence in his life be a light for all to see in every good work for the building up of your people and to the glory of your holy name. Give us the blessing of your example. Help us to follow in the way of Jesus today and every day. Give us compassion at the center of all we do. 
compassion for ourselves as disciples still young in faith, compassion for others as members of our own family in God. Let us become examples for others as so many others have been examples to us through your love and for the sake of your message. Watch over all elders and the brothers and the sisters of the Society of St. Simeon and St. Anna. If any are in a time of sickness or need, give them the touch of your healing hand. If any are in times of joy, thanksgiving, or fulfillment, give them the song of angels to praise your name. Let us be your servants in this life, just as we will be your sons and daughters in the life to come. Please add your prayers with ours. I remember today to pray for our sisters and brothers who are incarcerated, particularly those at Lemon Creek who have been members of our parish, some baptized there, some confirmed, and have been without our services, without our presence for over a year. We pray for their health, for their spiritual health, and that we might soon be allowed to go back among them. We pray for our friend Onesimus, out there in Texas with his family, that all is going well, and that he is having a successful transition to his new life. Pray for Carol today, for Jeffrey and Gail, for Luke and William. Pray for our friend Rob. And his path may be strewn with roses on this trip to visit here in Juneau. We remember those uh, waiting surgery and who have recently had surgery from our neighbors, amongst them John, who's in Anchorage, and Terry, who's in Seattle. May their procedures be successful and their healing be rapid. Amen. In this week before the day we celebrate as Mother's Day, we remember Monica, mother of Augustine, Bishop of Hippo, and a hard nut to crack. Monica had her hands full with that boy. Deepen our devotion, O Lord, and use us in accordance with your will, that inspired by the example of your servant, Monica, we may bring others to acknowledge Jesus Christ as Savior and Lord, who with you and the Holy Spirit lives and reigns, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Lord, let our eyes be your eyes sharing compassion, warmth, and love. Let our hands be your hands, bringing healing with their touch. Let our ears be your ears, listening where there's need. And let our words be your words, bringing comfort, joy, and peace. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. May God, the Almighty and merciful Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, grant you peace and bring justice, truth, and peace to the world.